What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I am in Atlanta, Georgia with this guy. Down here for the weekend and a couple days to work on some work on some stuff with the Ultra View gang. We have some cool new stuff coming out, so I'm down here um, working with them, finalize some stuff, so maybe you guys will get some sneak peeks in this video. So anyways, we're down here today, heading to the shop Saturday, and uh, get to it. Bear up, 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 bear up. What are you doing? Is it on? Yeah. Are you okay? They're on camera now, Bruce. You are you okay? Me. I'm depressed. Why? Because I'm harassed at work. It's it is constant A B B A B. Yeah. What you working on, Bruce? Secret project. Secret project. 57.0. This is whatever one it is now. This is the this is the behind the scenes of a cool new project we're working on. And um, one of the reasons I'm down here um, is what's in my hand right now. I'll show it in a second. But uh, I just test shot it. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I posted on my story, shot a 30X with it, and then a 27X back to back. So that is a 597, which is inner 10, which is smoking. I'm, I'm super pumped about that. So this new this new grip that's designed for Matthews Bose 2018, 2019 and on hunting bows and target bows it works on. Um, so here's a sneak peek. All right, talk about how, what we did, what would be good, and just how you did it, because you made it. Yeah. Basically, we wanted we wanted a uh, one solid piece grip. We didn't want a two piece grip, and we wanted it to be extra strong because this is robust for bow hunting and stuff. Yeah. I break everything, so I was like, we want a super strong grip because we're going to be, um, it's going to be like marketed as a hunting grip and a target grip. It's like an all-in-one, um, robust Matthews grip. It's a flat back, so with the texture, so even if your hands are sweaty, if your bow gets wet in the woods, you're not going to have any slippage issues. Yeah, so it's, uh, I'm pretty excited. We're actually, um, we'll have some final ones later today. Um, we just have been shooting some prototype ones and stuff. This is like, this is a prototype one. It has no texture or anything on it. Um, that one was the victim of the chunk yeah, test. Yeah, <laughs> there's a chunk test, we'll play it. Throw it as hard as you can against concrete and see what happens. <laughs> and it passed and, and Two times. also like, the absolute beefed it up just crazy. Um, so anyways, I'm um, super pumped about that. So we'll get these final ones out and uh, we'll give you a sneak peek out. So that was my 27X. We'll probably... <laughs> We'll probably shoot a little bit later, kind of show it off and stuff. But uh, for now, we're still waiting on them to be done and uh, make sure they're good and everything. And then we'll throw them on some bows, see what they're like. So guys, I have been working on the Vegas film. This time around, we made, or we planned on making like a longer, bigger film documentary on Vegas. So it's been a work in progress. We had um, Bryce and Mitchell Neve come out and film Vegas. We uh, kind of went all out. And uh, so far, I'm like 
13 minutes into the edit and it's really good. And if I had to guess, it's gonna be probably around 25 or 30 minutes altogether, but it's pretty extensive like on the editing side of things for me. I've spent probably three days on it, on and off all day already. So should be good. I'm super stoked about it. And uh, I uploaded a teaser on Instagram and said I'm releasing it on the 29th, partially to give me a deadline to finish it, partially just to get the hype out there. So, um, super stoked about that. And while I'm down here in Atlanta, hopefully I can finish it. But if I had to guess, probably not. Well, ev well, everyone, it is now the next day and the grips still are not complete. We had to make a couple tweaks on them and stuff. So we're waiting for those to kind of be finished, primed out. So what I'm gonna do, which I've been wanting to do for a while, and I forget if I talked about it in this vlog or not. I think I did. I am going to shoot my NAS bow, see what we can do for a round of NAS. She's a beaut. Yeah. So NASP uses a 80 centimeter, pretty sure. So we gotta find an 80 centimeter target. I say, I think, I know they use 80 centimeter. This one should work. So also, if you have not seen, if you're like new on the channel, which if you are new on the channel, make sure to subscribe because 70% of you that do watch my videos aren't even subscribed. So if you've been watching for a while now, make sure to subscribe, helps out the channel a lot. Anyways, if you have not been on my channel, watch my old videos down here at ALC Archery Learning Center, this is the 300 wall. All the Hornets and all the shooters, if they shoot like a 300, they hang it up on this wall, sign it and whatever. It's kind of like the brag board. Um, anyways, we're gonna get this target hung up. You sure this is 10 yards? I don't know, dude. Pace it. Oh! It's a problem with this boat. It just doesn't have enough firepower to even get in there. Oh, I have the same problem. So I need to pace out and double check that this is actually 10 yards. So in NASP, Regulations are you shoot one practice end, then you shoot three scoring ends at 10, and then you move back to 15, one practice end at 15, three scoring ends at 15, you shoot five arrows each time. So possible score of 300. It's just totally different than any other format of anything. So they kind of made their own deal. And for those that really don't know NASP, you have to use this Matthews Genesis bow, and you can't do anything to it or nothing. You like literally can't, you can barely do anything to it. I think the most you can do is like change the strings on it. But you have to keep it like stock. So it keeps the playing field completely different for everyone. All right, let's pace it. Yeah, it's about 10. All right, so this is first practice end. 
I think I dropped two, I forget, I didn't even count. So, not bad. The key with NASP is you have to find aim points. We can like dive into that in later videos or whatever, because I do want to make like more videos shooting NASP because so many of you ask questions about it. But um, aim point, so I'm just finding my aim point again. This is the same bow I shot like in high school and everything, and it's exactly set up the same way, so I don't have to like struggle too hard for it. This is the worst because you all, you always break these arrows. Need a piece of cardboard. Ugh. I need cardboard. So we have a piece of cardboard. Hopefully that fixes this dangling problem because it's no bueno. All right. Oh, Colby, I need a line call. A line call. Line call. It matters, dude. Do they even have line callers in there? Yeah. Which one? The, just call, what's the total score? Oh. 50? Is that one in? I guess so. It's close. I'm gonna, just gonna call it in. With the disadvantage you're having not shooting the new hinge from Ultraview, it's definitely in. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, first scoring in, 50. Drop none so far. Do I? Yeah. No. All right, so we have a piece of cardboard back behind there now, so hopefully arrows don't fall. And I do have to lower my aim point. Ooh, the arrow's bent. Drop one. Drop one. So here we go. Dropped one. So one for the end, one for the arrow I dropped. And this arrow has a awesome hole. That's awesome. Oh, so bent. But we have more arrows, so I'm gonna go grab another one. New arrow. So 10 yards going back to like when I actually shot, my goal is always to clean 10 yards because it's relatively like easy in the scheme of things. 10 yards, 15 yards is the thing where you really gotta pay attention because it's really, really, I don't think I've ever cleaned 15 yards totally. Eh, I probably have, but it's really hard to clean 15 yards. So I know 15 yards because it's marked for some reason. Uh, 10 yards isn't. So now the previous aim point was down in this region. So now it's gonna be like right there-ish. So I got one practice and try to figure it out. I'm one down right now. The goal, eh, a, go a solid goal for me right now would probably be like a 295. That'd be like super, realistic I'd say right now. So we'll see, that means I can only drop four points at 15. All right, you owe me $15 if I shoot 10 first arrow. All right. <clears throat> Dang, that's not All right, so on that end, 
I shot two arrows aiming one spot. They both went high. I adjusted and shot 310. So super important that practice rounds, you move your sight or move your aim point, which in this case, your aim point is your sight. All right, three ends, see what we can do. Okay, so I got a really good group down there. I'm not 100% sure if they're all in or not. Two of them are out. So the deal is here, two of those are out, but it's a 60 group. Like, oh, that was, that was right there. 60 group, like I can fit my hand around it. So I just gotta adjust my anchor point a little bit. And I'll be good to go. <laughs> Reckon arrows down there. I think I only got one out on that time and it was totally my fault. Yeah, one arrow out. Cardboard is not working out so much. These arrows only get like one inch of penetration in these targets, so. It's no blame. <laughs> don't, don't. Don't shoot it. Oh, dude, I thought that was gonna fling up. <laughs> dude, that was super hard to hit. Yeah, because it was like. Mm. All right, sloppy round that time. Might have shot an eight. The yeah. problem is these arrows sack. Nope, that's nine. We have ten, 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 nine, nine. Not bad. So that is one, two, three, four, five, 295. Not that bad. Actually pretty happy with 295, but uh, definitely room for improvement on that. But this was my first NASP round. First time shooting a NASP bow, probably a year. So pretty happy with that. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Hope you kind of enjoyed this shooting behind the scenes look at a cool new project that will be shown hopefully in the next video so make sure to subscribe like this video leave me a comment i'll catch you guys next time